Hey everyone, welcome back. You have made it to video number three in the series about everything you wanted to know about Lightroom catalogs. And my name is Cinnamon, in case you don't know who I am. And in this video, we are gonna be talking about how to export one of your current sessions that's already in a Lightroom catalog into its own catalog by itself. Um, it's pretty simple to do, but it's not always that super intuitive. So we are gonna just talk about how you get that done. So let's go ahead and open up this 2017 Lightroom catalog that we have been using for these tutorials. Um, and I'm going to show you how to export one of these um, sessions over here into its own catalog by itself. Now, why would you want to do this? Um, that's a great question. Um, it's not something you would need to do probably very often unless you're starting to maybe work with a private editor and you need to actually share um, a part of your catalog that you've already been working on um, without sharing the whole entire thing. So I am a private editor and this is something that happens with me and my clients all the time. Um, some of my clients uh, have one catalog and then they just import all of their sessions into that one catalog, but then they need to share only one of those sessions with me to do the edits on. Um, so they need to export that out of their catalog, put it in its own catalog. And then when the time comes, they'll need to import it back in and that's going to be in our next video. But for right now, we're going to talk about strictly about exporting um, a specific session out of a catalog into its own. So you can see here in this 2017 Lightroom catalog, we have four different sessions that are currently in this catalog right now. Now, you know, some edits have already been done. Well, these are JPEG images, so they're not, you know, they've already been edited. But you can see like some of them have been marked red. Um, some of them have been made black and white, you know, so on and so forth. So we've already made changes um, to these, you know, different sessions, um, but now we need to get uh, one of these sessions to maybe an editor. Um, so we need to get it into its own catalog so that the editor, you know, doesn't, the editor doesn't probably need all of your sessions. They probably just need the one to work on. So let's do this one. Let's do Joe and Becky. So if we need to get this catalog over to, um, you know, our, our editor, or we just want to, you know, have decided that we're going to break up our, our catalog into lots of different catalogs. That, that could be an option too. Um, it's real simple. We're just going to click on Joe and Becky, and then we're going to right click and we're going to say export this folder as a catalog. So that's basically saying this folder just by itself, we're going to export that into a catalog. So we're going to click on that and it's going to do what Lightroom loves to do. Ask us where do we want to put that? Um, so I'm a big fan of putting things where they go. <laughs> I know that sounds silly. Um, and if you're working with a private editor, you might want to, you know, you might be working with Dropbox and that's something that we're going to talk about in a later video. So you might be exporting it into a Dropbox folder potentially, but for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to go ahead and put that catalog right with Joe and Becky's raw images. So we're going to click on Joe and Becky right there. You're going to see those raw images. Well, they're not raw, they're JPEGs, but you know what I mean? They'll typically be raw images. And we're going to call this catalog Joe and Becky. I usually like to use underscores. Um, and we're going to go ahead and say 2017, um, just because I'm, I'm just making up that this was uh, something that happened in 2017. So we're going to go ahead and say that. Now, very important at the bottom here, this is something you want to pay attention to. So this little dialog box here at the bottom says exporting a catalog with 15 photos. And it gives you three choices, export negative files, build or include smart previews, and include available previews. So if you click export negative files, it is going to take the files that are already associated with this catalog and export them as well. So it's going to create a catalog as well as also transfer the images that the catalog is looking at currently. Um, I don't recommend that you do this unless you need to do that for some reason, which in most cases you probably won't. Um, you don't need to have that checked. I do recommend you always build smart previews. Smart previews will be the subject of another video, um, but they're very powerful and important when it comes to editing um, in Lightroom without your raw images attached to the computer or if you're working with a private editor. Um, you can include available previews. It's not 100% necessary, but I always check it for default um, just because I like to be safe rather than sorry. Um, but again, it's not totally necessary, but go ahead and check it. It's not going to take any extra time or any or a lot of extra space um, and everything will just work smoother if you do check that. So then we're going to just click, click export catalog and you'll see that it's exporting and creating the new catalog up here at the top, you'll see it working. We'll wait till it's done. 
and it should give us a notification that it's done, exported. Oh, I guess it doesn't. Um, but it has now exported that catalog. So um, I'm going to go open that catalog, but I'm not going to close this catalog yet. So I'm going to just minimize this Lightroom catalog. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to click on this Lightroom sample, and I'm going to click on Joe and Becky, where we saved that folder. So you can see that there's a new folder here in uh, the Joe and Becky file which has the Lightroom catalog, the previews that we indicated for it to create, and the smart previews that we indicated for it to create. So these are just the files that go with the catalog. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click this and we're gonna open that catalog with Lightroom. It's gonna say, do you wanna relaunch? Because we already have a current catalog open. So in order to use this catalog, Lightroom must close the current catalog and restart. Do you wish to do that? Yes. So we're gonna relaunch, it's gonna close the catalog we had open, and it's going to open this one instead. So you'll see that once it opens, it's going to be titled Joe and Becky 2017. It's only going to include those specific images that were in the Joe and Becky folder, and the edits will remain the same. The edits, categorizations, markings, uh, labels, all that stuff will remain the same because it's basically just taking the catalog um, itself and just moving it, making a new one. So you'll see here that the only photographs are the 15 photographs that were in um, the Joe and Becky folder. Those are the photographs here and you can see that the, the red has retained, the five star ratings have retained, the black and whites have retained, all of that is retained. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I don't know why I'm so yawny today. <laughs> so now you have a brand new catalog called Joe and Becky 2017 um, all by itself. So now you could take this catalog and you could put it in Dropbox maybe for your private editor to work on. Um, or you just have now a catalog just for Joe and Becky um, by itself. So um, you will see, we're going to go ahead and close this and we're going to open, we're going to go back and open that 2017 Lightroom catalog. So the Joe and Becky folders, they're not necessarily moved out of this folder. Um, you'll see Joe and Becky still exists right here um, because that was a part of this Lightroom catalog. Um, so these are not connected. So if you were to make changes to that new uh, Joe and Becky catalog that we just created, it's not going to change these. We would have to import that catalog back into this one um, in order for that to happen. So again, uh, that's for a subject for another video, um, but that's how you would export one session out of a catalog that you have already created and maybe edited photos from um, into its own catalog by itself. So I hope that you found that helpful. Stay tuned for the rest of the videos in this series, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.